Well, what would an Emmy mean to you guys for this show? So last year, the show won and our amazing producer won and editing, sound, editing casting, won. But um, we didn't. And we were so proud of them. Yeah. I mean, they deserved it. They worked so hard. And this year, we're just honored that we're also being considered as hosts because we work so hard in each of our five categories that it would mean the world to all of us yeah. to get <laughs> Emmy. Yes. Yeah, but to even be considered is very nice as well. Yes, Although. A nomination would not be the worst thing in the world, I'm sure. What about season four? We are literally not spoilers, and I don't know what we're allowed to say. <laughs> okay. But there is a Good special answer. in Japan, is that correct? Yes. 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 Tell yes. me about that. Uh, four episodes only. In my opinion, they're some of the most incredible episodes because their stories are so unique. Their stories are so different from ours in the West. I think the first episode probably is my favorite episode we've ever done. When is the first time that you guys felt represented by the mainstream media? The original Queer Eye. That's when I first felt represented. I mm. felt a little bit represented by Rupert Everett and my best friend's wedding. <gasps> That's wow. a really good one. Oh my God. And, 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 Rudy Galindo, Rudy Galindo, 1995, U.S. national champion, honey, very ma figure my skater, very major. I Paul when he had his own oh, daytime talk show on VH1. Classic. I was like, that VH1 talk show, I was like, oh, what? Black gay man helping people? I can <laughs> yeah. do this? Yeah, that was it. Mine was a really lovely film from the 90s, early 2000s, question mark, uh, Pedro Almodovar y tu mama tambien, where yes. they dealt with fluidity. Well, there be a Karamo getting ready to get married Queer Eye special? Oh, that was a good you. question, Karamo. Um, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's funny because at first my partner was having anxiety around the wedding and the more that I'm making it more lavish, I'm having more anxiety and thinking oh. like, do I need to scale back and make this like... No. no. You're not going to scale back. Never. Never. That train Ever. cannot be long enough. I know. Oh my god, if you serve us a like Priyanka train <laughs> That's with the like plan. an aerial shot, I, I need a drone. I can't outdo it, man. Who's your ice sculpture artist? Because I have a great, great, great <laughs> I have a few actually. Uh, Let me know. I just, what if we all got like a gorgeous, huge white piece of tool and got like a drone aerial photographer? But really, she was what made it so special. I just was obsessed with that show. Yeah, that was gorgeous. <laughs> oh was my everything. God. Yeah. Wow. Well, sure. So I guess if there's a special, then you just announced it right now. Great. Yeah. I love that. Tan, what did you think when you saw the video of Brie Larson and Oprah talking about your style tips? It blew my mind. I literally screamed in my car. My husband sent it to me. I literally screamed in my car. And I told everyone that would listen, even the Starbucks person. <laughs> you, you mean when you were parked in a parking lot, not driving? Oh no, the driver was driving. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, oh, okay. it was like Tanny was really and relatable. Like, Tanny oh, was not oh, using oh. his phone while driving. No, we haven't changed. I was going, at I was going, all. I was going to a shoot, and so they provided. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>